Hi. This is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi, Leo. Okay, we're going to get right started right away. So I have my Oceanic Tarot that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using Romance Angels deck and the Love Oracle by Simply Spiritual. Okay, so let's pop right into it, Leo. What do our beautiful Leos need to know for their love life for the month of July? Angels, Archangels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Higher Self. What do our beautiful Leos need to know right now for their highest good, for their love life for the month of July, please? Just clearing the energy a little bit because I just read for cancer. What do you think Leo's need to know right now? For their highest good for the month of July, please. They want me to stop splitting and shuffle them. Alright, what do our Leo's need to know right now for their highest good, please? What do our Leo's need to know right now for their highest good, please? I turned off my air, so I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> What do our Leos need to know right now for their highest good, please? Can we get some cards for Leo now, please? Can we get some cards for Leo? Of course, of course, of course, the cards are going to fly out. Excuse me. Two of Swords at a Crossroads. Okay, what else do we need to know, please? Man, they gave us a lot of cards. What does Leo need to know about their love life, please? All right, so I'm going to read these and see if I can get a clarifier. Two of Swords, Crossroads, Ace of Pentacles, Prosperity, Two of Pentacles, Options, holy crap, and Eight of Cups, Change. Okay, so right now, Leos, you guys are in some type of crossroads in regards to your love life. And you got two of pentacles so i feel like that crossroads is going to be a choice in love so you might have two different partners that you're trying to choose between makes sense um or it could be your financial life is affecting somehow your love life but not in a negative way at all because you have prosperity here with ace of pentacles You know what it feels like, though? It doesn't feel like money. What this feels like to me, Leo, is this crossroads is you have a lot of options right now. Um, you got, okay, so here's a crossroads card. Crossroads, two of swords is always generally a choice. Having to choose between two different options, two different scenarios, two different timelines. But this is a love reading, so... This crossroads is a choice in love, a choice, whether or not you want to stay, whether or not you want to go, whether or not you want to choose this partner, whether or not you want to choose the other partner, okay? It's a choice, um, but it came out with the prosperity and the option card, so, and then you got change. So here's what's coming out. Here's the message that I'm feeling. Here's what the spirit guides are screaming. Okay. The prosperity card doesn't necessarily mean financial prosperity. This is a love reading. So it feels to me like the prosperity is an abundance of choices. You have options. Okay. That's why they came out together. Prosperity options. So what choice are you going to make, Leo? What partner are you going to settle on? What, what um, option are you going to take? Are you going to stay with this person? Are you going to leave? Are you going to stay with this person? Are you going to choose another person? You have so many different avenues that you can take, Leo. And the choice is, at the end of the day, completely up to you. You don't have to stay. You don't have to go. You don't have to... Ch I mean... You, you can do whatever you want to do. 
Either way, whatever choice you decide to make, it's going to bring about this. Tons of change. Tons of it. And I feel like whatever choice you decide to make, you are going to be divinely guided by the universe. You are held and taken care of and loved by your guides. I'm trying to get an outcome for you. <laughs> the card just flew out. Um, so let's go ahead and get an outcome for Leo, please. Let's see if we can figure out what choice you're going to make, Leo, okay? Do we have an outcome for Leo, please? So I was trying to get one card and they shot two of them out at me. Practicality, King of Wands, and the world. Okay, regeneration. So, Leo, you got practicality, King of Wands. So you definitely have this energy of wanting to rush forward and make these decisions but you're being too practical about it. Again, I got this card for cancer. You're using too much of this and not enough of this. So make sure when you make any decision in regards to your love life and your relationships, Leo, that you are using your heart space. Make sure that you're using your heart to feel what the correct decision is going to be for you. And only you, Leo, will know what decision is going to be correct for the growth of your soul and for the good of you and the good of all. Most importantly, for the good of you, okay? Because at the end of the day, you are the only one that's going to make you happy, Leo. All right, so the next card that they gave us is the world regeneration for you, Leos. So they didn't really give us an outcome, right? as far as like the decision you're going to make they only are asking that you use your heart space and try to feel what feels good for you but the next card is regeneration and the world i'm gonna look this up because i feel like it's really important to read the exact meaning of it because it says regeneration now i know that in a any type of reading the world generally means um, unconditional love. It's lots of gifts. It is fate in your favor. Um, lots of forward movements. But in a love reading, I'm not exactly quite sure how this is going to fit in. So I want to read this exactly in the book so that I don't give you any bad advice. Okay, ocean fish, symbols of the soul. Oh, nice. And you know, with each deck, there's different meanings with different cards. So all right, symbols of the soul. So the fish on here represent the soul, okay? Swim in a circle. Their flashing bodies could be the leaves of a laurel wreath, an emblem of success, reward, and celebration. Yet this wreath is alive, and the fish continuously swim in their circle, signifying the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. In the center is a merman who is a master of his ocean home and of his destiny. He smiles at us, radiating bliss and contentment. So for some of you, Leo, this circle represents eternity. The continuous circle of death, life, rebirth, it's eternity. So that's going to resonate for some of you. Regeneration. The world shows that your life is regenerated and renewed as you finally find the success you seek and celebrate your achievements. You may receive a particular award for your efforts. The card also shows the completion of a phase, such as meeting a target or goal, or finalizing a house move or other major project. The world often comes up in readings to signify a relationship landmark. There it is. That's what we were looking for. <laughs> So it's moving on to the next phase of your relationship once you make a choice. Um, reaching your target goals. So if you have a certain person in mind that you want to be with, this is the, your, the answer to your question, Leo, is yes. This, is, this could be your person if you decide to move forward in that direction towards that person. It's basically saying, yes, you can achieve this goal this relationship goal. Okay. The world often comes up in readings to signify a relationship landmark such as a wedding anniversary or renewing your vows. So it's taking that next step. 
There are opportunities to travel now, and if you are single, have romantic adventures too. So you heard that, Leo. If you're single, you won't be for long. <laughs> There's going to be lots of romantic adventures. And the card on the bottom of the deck is the Queen of the Ocean, Abundance. So it's lots of options, again, in love. So, Leo, I feel like you are definitely attracting in lots of romantic options. Which one will you choose, Leo? All right. So, can we get some more answers for Leo for the love life, please, for July? Good reading so far, Leo. Um, what can you tell us about Leo's love life? Can we get some more clarification for Leo for their love life? My camera just did this weird skippy thing. I don't know what it was. All right, angels, archangels, spirit guides, higher self and ancestors, can we get some more clarification for Leo, please, for their love life? All right. What do we got for Leo, please? Do, 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 do. Our fire signs. What do we got for Leo, please? What do we got for Leo? Let me clear the energy. I forgot to do that. What do we got for Leo, please? What do we got for Leo? All right. What do we got for Leo, please? They don't want to give us anything right now. <laughs> they don't want anyone to know what's going on in your love life, Leo. Playfulness. We did get one card. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I don't think most Leos have any problem with that. If you've been being too serious right now, Leo, it's time to let it go and let your playful light shine because we know that most Leos have that playfulness already inside of them. It just comes natural to Leo because Leos are the son of the zodiacs. All right. One card did fall out. So, okay. Mm. retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and I don't think it's I think it's funny that it shows you and a partner disconnecting and retreating from the world whoa Leo all of a sudden you got a burst of cards came out for you okay all right let us get one more card out for Leo please do, 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 do. All right. Whoa, there we go. Thanks. Okay. All right. So we got playfulness retreats, forgiving and learning. Mm, sorry, that one came out over here. Playfulness retreats. It's time to disconnect from the world. So we already did playfulness. There's retreat, and it says it's time to disconnect from the world. So this depicts a couple who is, it was just 333 on my phone and 1331. So there's some codes for you. It shows a couple who's disconnecting from the world, but they're doing it together. So for some of you Leos, there's your answer. You and your partner are going to take a little sabbatical. It's going to be together. Maybe you're going to get off social media together and just focus on each other. The next two cards we got, Leo, are pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So this is going to be different for everybody. For some of you, if you had doubts about a person, there's your confirmation. They might not be the best person for you, right? Um... This also could be, it feels honestly to me, Leo, like there's a little bit of hesitation on your, on your part. Maybe like, um, it says the signs are cautioning you. So I feel like you are looking for signs. Um, you're trying to figure out because what we got before that was, um, options, options, options. So it feels like you're overthinking this. 
you're sitting here, you're waiting for signs, you're waiting for the right signs, the right decision, the right steps to take. And honestly, the only way that you're going to know what steps are right to take for you are by following your internal compass and your heart space. This is just like what I was telling Cancer. You have to follow the signs that are inside of your heart. The signs are going to be shown to you, yes, by the universe, but you're going to know whether or not they resonate with you with the choice that you would like to make. Okay, and it's up to you to decipher those signs by using your heart space. Okay, but yeah, for some of you, yes, this, <laughs> there's there's your answer. This person's not the right person for you, right? All right, and then the next card, okay, is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So for some of you, yes, absolutely, Leo. The reason you have all these options is because that you're the person that you're with right now is probably a karmic or there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep you guys going so for some of you um leos and fire signs there's your answer um you're going to be ending up moving forward from this person but don't worry because you have another you have a lot of options coming up obviously you got all the option cards so i guess it's up to you whether or not you're choosing to move forward leo and then the next card we got is forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So for those of you who are choosing to move on from this relationship where there's not enough chemistry to keep it going, then you learn to release that energy to heal it, heal your past, and you're going to be able to move forward to experience more love. There you go. <laughs> For some of you too, it feels like maybe you don't have enough self-love. And that's why um, that's where the unrequited love comes in. That's what I'm feeling too. Okay, so can we get an outcome for Leo for their love life? A general outcome for Leo for the month of July. What can you tell us for Leo to close out this reading? Thank you, Spirit. This has been a beautiful reading for Leo. Okay, how can we close out this wonderful reading for our fire signs? What does our Leos need to know? To close out your reading for the month of July, please. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This card flew out so hard that it literally got bent. Because <laughs> it flew out so hard. The energy was so strong. The first card you got, Leo, is Fated Meeting. So maybe the reason your past relationship or the relationship you're in now is not working out is because you're meant to meet somebody else. Maybe the person you're focused on right now is not your person. Maybe it's time to move on. You know, you have faded meeting. Oh, God. Or <laughs> that's going to mean something different for everybody. Hold on. Whoa. Faded meeting. We got legal matters. So for some of you, yes, energy feels very strong of divorce. Be careful what you're getting tangled up in as far as your love life goes. Make sure you read all the fine print. Don't sign any papers without, you know, checking them over with a fine tooth comb, Leo. All right. You know what? For some of you, though, that your person could be in the judicial system. If your person could be a judge. Okay. And magnetic attraction. All right. Can we get one more card to end Leo's reading, please? Can we get an outcome for our Leos? Do, 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 do. Can we get an outcome for our Leos, please? It's so funny because first it's like there's no magnetic attraction and then it's magnetic attraction. <laughs> Your guys' reading does not make sense at all. Okay. And then you have the energy of fear. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So we got faded meeting. We got legal matters. 
Magnetic Attraction, and Ghosted is your last card. So, very confusing, Leo, very confusing energy. Um, for some of you, I feel like there is an energy definitely of whoever you're with right now, there might be a big, if you are in a relationship with someone, then whoever you are with right now, you are not satisfied with them and you are definitely going to move forward and cut those ties, okay? For those of you that are that this is your storyline, you are going to meet someone else. You have faded meeting, okay? You could possibly be going through a divorce right now. Some of you Leos are going through a divorce, definitely for sure, okay? But this other person that's coming in, there's a very strong magnetic attraction, Here's the kicker though. This new person, the energy feels very um, strongly of fear. <laughs> so this magnetic attraction might be so strong for them. They might not be used to it. So the next thing that's going to happen is they're going to ghost you. But I don't think it's because they don't feel the attraction. I think the reason that they ghost you is because they do feel the attraction. And it's so strong. They've never felt anything like this before. So it's going to scare the shit out of them. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. So, and for some of you, the faded meeting will be your person is going to be in the judicial system. Maybe they're a judge. Who knows? Very nice. Either way, you know, if your person is a judge, right, there is a strong magnetic attraction between you guys. So there you go. There's your reading. On the bottom of the deck, you got truth. So face it. Whatever happens, Leo, face the truth. Let it come out. Surrender. Go with the flow. Either way, you're going to be fine. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, um, you might have seen that I'm going to be um, hosting a healing workshop with Steph Rat 27 and Stephen Rock 3311. Um, we are going to be taking you on a healing journey, focusing on sound healing, um, some shaman practices, focusing on learning about Christ consciousness. Um, there's just going to be lots of wonderful, fun things. It's August 13th, 14th, and 15th. It was just 222 on my phone. Um, it was actually 2234. So, But we would be so honored if you would join us. So if you're interested, you can contact me on Instagram or any of the other people that I just meant it, mentioned. Steph Brat, Steph Brat, S-T-E-F Brat. 27 and Steven Rock 3311. They're both on Instagram. DM them for information. The cost is $111. One time fee of $111 and you get us for three days. You get three different healers for three days. It is an amazing deal, you guys. And you get to learn and practice the healing methods that we have used to heal ourselves it's going to be a beautiful beautiful journey of healing and love and self-introspection so we hope that you join us and you learn to heal with us it's going to be a beautiful journey uh let's see what else it's a friday saturday and sunday it's 2 p.m eastern standard time so hopefully you guys will join us for that we would be so honored to have you there all right, so I guess that's all I got for you, Leo. Good luck on all of your decision making because you have a ton of options coming in. I love you, Leo. Bye. <laughs>